Well, when I grow up, I like to be an engineer. It's like a guide to being an engineer. It's like it gives you all the basic stuff about what happens in robots, mice, and stuff. Here at the School of Education and Human Development at the University of Miami, we're using the humanoid robot now uh, in three different programs in elementary school. STEM program is science, technology, engineering, and math. The robot is educational. I hope that when I grow up, I get to work with the same thing like robots and programming. The now robotics helps them um, take to fruition what they've done on the computers and with programming and such. So when I first saw Neo, I was shocked because it was a real robot like standing right in front of me. I was like, wow, I can't believe I'm looking at a robot right now. We've done um, Hour of Code last year. Before we just did it on the touch screen on the computer, but now we have the, com the robots here actually walking and talking and engaging, so the kids are really ripped about doing it. The way to program now is we find it so easy for kids, especially in the elementary level. The second thing is the way it now looks, its design, its appearance, its size, its sound are really crucial. I was like, ooh, do we get to work with it? And then they said, yes, you do. You get to program it to turn right, left, 90 degrees, and stuff like that. It's showing us a whole different way of science. We have like a textbook and you're inferencing of what's happening, but here you actually get to do it. We brought the robot into our after-school program, which is called the THINK program. The robot talked about the importance of nutrition, and being physically active. Now when I go home I can tell my family how how like I how I worked out with a robot and then I can like tell them how to work out too with This is a new way, an innovative way of interacting through technology to teach kids about um, health concepts. At the end of this program, we saw the biggest gains in physical fitness that we ever saw. My favorite thing about him that he knows what's going around him and he's very active. ESC is exceptional student education. All the students who are on the autism spectrum, any behavior kind of disorders, things like that. We've been having a lot of interactions with myself and the ESC students and the robots. The students are able to interact with the robots more on a level that they're feeling comfortable with. For some reason, students with autism are drawn to technology. One, we're probably gigantic to them, whereas the robot is about their size. The whole project started when my son was diagnosed with autism when he was 18 months. I think now is a perfect example of using state-of-the-art tools in the education system. 